I'm Ina Vanderbroek. Uh, I'm a researcher at the New York Botanical Garden. I'm an ethnobotanist and I study how people use plants for medicinal purposes. So we're standing here in the Init A. Hop Conservatory and uh, we're featuring a lot of plants that uh, grow in the Caribbean and that have lots of purposes as medicines, as food, and that is exactly what ethnobotany studies. The use of plants by people, be it for medicinal purposes, be it for culinary purposes, for their daily subsistence. I have lots of favorite Caribbean plants. Um, I work in the Dominican Republic. I also work with Dominican immigrants here in New York City. But we have lots of ethnic shops here where people go and purchase plants that are imported straight from the Caribbean. So there's this wealth of information um, that was waiting to be discovered. And now, six years later, we're still working on this project. So we have a database with uh, more than 4,000 uses of plants uh, by the Dominican community, and, and these are plants that are growing here. Many of them are growing here in the conservatory as well. One of the top 10 Dominican plants, I'd say, is aloe vera. Um, it, it's, it's like a cure-it-all. It's used for good luck, it's, used, uh, it's applied for burns, it's used for respiratory infections. So for a lot of health conditions, it's one of the favorite plants uh, by the Dominican community. I have uh, a plant that is a lipstick tree. It's also known as anato. Uh, achiote is another name. The seeds have a red pulp, and that's drunk in a tea uh, to treat anemia. And it's actually um, a property that stems from the doctrine of the signatures, that stems from medieval Europe, and it's called like cures like, because it's red, it cures, it cures uh, diseases that have something to do with blood, like anemia. Uh, a paste of the seeds is also used um, to apply for burns and so on. That I think that it's very important to do this kind of research to, to help conserve biodiversity of useful plants and that these traditions really form an integral part of people's culture and it keeps them together. For instance, the, the Dominican community I work with here talking about plants and their medicinal uses is very needed because not everybody has health insurance. So um, people keep that social cohesion alive in using medicinal plants. And one of the things that we do to apply our research is to bring that information to doctors uh, and medical residents so they can learn to establish a better and a trusted dialogue with their patients.